What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video for the big reveal on the new project car. We got us a 1997, no, 1996, sorry, Toyota Mark II. So it is a GX100, so there is no Jay-Z, but it is a factory manual car. It's got a W58 with the 1G FE. Yeah, so it's got 86,000 kilometers. Not bad. Fairly clean all around. Here's the extra tail light, headlight muffin kit. So yeah, this is a new car. Just picked it up, as you saw in the last video. We'll get it taken home, and then we'll really dig into it. Load it up. Now it's time to get started on the trek home. Cars. Get this shit pulled in. It's another day. Got some rest. It was a long day yesterday driving to pick up the new Mark II. Um, as you can see, I just kind of got a little ahead of myself and wanted to start seeing the, the vision because these wheels and ride height is awful. But new car. I want to go over everything wrong with it. At least everything that I know that's wrong with it. Get you guys up to speed on what it is we're gonna be doing in this thing. So first off aesthetics let's start there. Headlights a little dingy corner night lights need some clear action. Paint was redone recently. It's got the Origin Racing Line body kit. I actually want to try to like accent this piece black, kind of like how the uh, Origin kit is like advertised. Gonna, yeah, do that. Kit honestly fits decent. All the doors open and close with like not much effort compared to this thing. You gotta like slam them, so that's good. Um, so I got a stuffy nose. Other other cosmetic thing, the biggest one is this trunk lid. So it's kooky, they're like a series two, mark two trunk lid and lights. I guess the previous owner had an issue where the trunk latch stopped working properly. So they busted out the tail light and then cut up the sheet metal and bent it. So they get in there, they drilled out the hole for the key. They fucked this one up and then yeah, I got the latch off so they could get open the trunk and the dude had been taping it. So there's like little bits of glue and adhesive on it that I need to clean up now. But yeah, came with a replacement tail light, obviously. Came with two latches. The weird little fucking mechanism that he was having issues with, which I think I might just tack weld it in a few spots instead of the zip ties. And then get this trunk working correctly. That's going to be what I'm doing today. Also came with the fog lights that don't fit the kit. So I have to figure out what I want to do with those. Oh, the other thing is the bulbs. I can't figure out how the fuck to get the bulbs in or out of the sockets. Otherwise, um, obviously wheels, ride height, center caps are all scratched up, whatever hub caps I mean, are all scratched up on all of them that are existing. One of them is missing a hub cap. No big deal. Uh, needs cleaned up because it's filthy. Um, interior wise, it's decent, needs cleaned up. I would love to do Tour V interior at some point, but it's gonna be super expensive and super difficult to source. So I'm gonna just keep the beige interior, um, maybe do my shift knob. Not bad, but there's other shit you can see where they didn't really tape as well as they could for the paint job. But, and, you know, just more stuff. So maybe I'll end up taking a clay bar to it, but. Maybe I was going to get professionally detailed. Who knows? Um, 
<sighs> now for the worst parts of the car. Um, kind of need to get it up off the ground to show you better. So I guess we'll get it. We'll get it lifted up. I might actually just throw the 326 on there just to see and figure out fitment and stuff. Um, and then we'll show you the underside of the car. We got green wheels. Put on the Mark II. Um, ride height could obviously use some attention, but the overall look of the car is way better than the Steelys. Um, had to go into the parts store to get some lug nuts, but now the fitment is closer to being okay with this wide ass body kit. Yeah, it's quite pokey, but looks better. A million times better. So I'm gonna pull it out. How small those are, bro. Just look at those bits. The midges are hitting big. <laughs> some nasty Steelys. These things are rusted on. I had to give it the fucking bah! Yeah. Nine five plus twenty actually fits really fucking well. It's the rear. It is a little chilly, but uh, and kind of raining a little bit. But I uh, wanted to clean off all the just the grime from the trip in, and uh, really kind of get this white paint looking a little better. So we're gonna just clean the car really quick, um, and then pull it in and we'll go over what I did with the trunk. So what I ended up doing uh, off camera, of course, I ended up welding the rod at the right angle for the lock and the right angle for the latch and they're happy they all work now it closes it latches we're good um the other downfall of the kooky tails is the actual tail light bulb harness and sockets are fucking different go figure so um after much struggle i was able to get the old harness off the car which has like every 90 degrees has this thing a little locking thing that looks like a pressing clip, whereas the new tail lights, the Series 2 tail lights, come with like this other triangular locking mechanism. Or, like the connector to the chassis is also different. So, one, this is the Series 2 that comes from the light bulbs and has female connectors. And this is the Series 1 that comes from the light bulbs and has male connectors, so they don't really drive. Actually, I went to the junkyard and was able to source the correct sockets. I got them off of 2005 Scion TC. But you might be able to go to a Toyota dealership and ask them for the bulb plug for a Scion TC and maybe they could give you these instead of having to junk out. So, hot tip. So now what I'm gonna do is cut the old harness, solder in the correct connectors for the Series 2 taillights, and then the trunk situation should be done and resolved. Okay, I got everything kind of taped up and connected and the new connectors are perfect for those taillights, just like I'd hoped. So now, close the trunk. Close, go ahead and uh, turn the lights on. Okay, now go ahead and hit the brakes. I think we have brake lights out. Okay, turn to the left. Okay, so in the back we're good. And then go the other way. Turn the other way. So this one's not working. The back is okay. Uh, I ended up getting the turn signals working. It was just like some corrosion on the connectors. Uh, got a few other things done in the car. Changed out some interior bulbs to LEDs, um, like white LEDs, just to make it a little like crispier, cleaner, more modern. I also put my shift knob in it just to see if I like it. The little shift knob is in there. I did clean it actually. It's been outside at Jeff's house and got dirty again. But uh, yeah, I guess there's not much more to show except for underneath the car. So let's, let's get this thing up. This is so weird. It's out of stereotypical in this, but it's also like stereotypical, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like fairly clean, but also like they're hiding something. A hundred percent. There's gotta be a hole somewhere. Like, like I said, when I was under it, before I got it, I checked that the shell was good. Like the arms are kind of crusty, but Arms and knuckles could use some love. And like there is still a little bit of body rust here and there, but for the most part it's not it's not a like cancerous. It doesn't compromise integrity. But 
All right, YouTube, let's see if we can get you a better shot. What is this? I'm not sure, give me a minute. So, this is the underside. Um, as you can see, some of the arms have a lot of like just corrosion on them and they tried to undercoat the car and like the subframe too does have some corrosion on it. Um, so that we're gonna pull everything apart basically and get it all like media blasted and powder coated and try to clean up what we can. We'll probably replace a bunch of the arms anyways because there's better aftermarket options. But overall like the shell looks decent. It was an island car so it came from near the ocean. So that kind of explains they probably were hiding some stuff. And yeah, you can just see like corrosion here and there. So the diff is kind of, kind of crusty. The black air <laughs> subframe. I mean, yeah, it's all, it's all kind of, you know. How are you so solid? Now when you look into the wheel wells, everything looks pretty decent. Needs some love. We're gonna probably drop front and rear subframe, replace basically every arm, every bushing, and just fully redo the suspension. I mean, it's, it's still an almost 30 year old car. So that'll be what you can look forward to in the upcoming videos is the full building suspension, eventually putting an extra 1J into this bad boy. Be almost like a show car, clean car, slideable, but not like as tempting to do dumb stuff as this car, which is obviously in a state of disarray and disrepair. And we're working on making that better. Comment, Jake should fix his S14. <laughs> he should fix his S14. It's been bump started a lot. We're gonna figure some things out, make the S14 a little more reliable, a little bit better, find some things on that as well. We'll figure it out, step by step. Anyways, if you enjoy the video, leave us a like down below. Uh, leave a comment what you think about the new car. If you love it, if you hate it, if you think it's trash without a fucking, with some nice wheels, it needs its own wheels. Let me know what you think I should put on it. Make sure you guys get outside, have fun, enjoy this spring, summer weather coming up, and play in traffic. Bye.